You see the Northwestern Wildcats, big part of this media day. There's Clayton Thorson, Clayton, and another Clayton, from Dublin Claytons. <laughs> and Nate Hall, well, he's hey. taking his own photos, hey. a little media day selfie as well for the Northwestern linebacker. Those two join us now, along with Montre Hardage, Northwestern cornerback. Great to have all three of you here with us. We need the injury updates first. Uh, Clayton, I'll start with you. Both you and Nate are coming off of knee injuries. Yeah. There's been a lot of speculation and discussion and intrigue yeah. about your injury in particular. Where are you in this rehabilitation process? Doing great. I feel like myself again. Um, you know, obviously there's a few things I need to do uh, moving forward in order to play week one, but that's my goal. And that's been the goal the whole time is to play week one. And, um, you know, that's what I want to do, and that's how I'm preparing. When you say there are a few things you need to do, yeah. what does that mean? It, it, things you need to prove to yourself physically, or are there kind of measurements they're doing on the knee? Yeah. What, what, is, what does yeah, it mean? There's both. So they always test you right before you go out, and they put you out there to play. And so just like any injury, um, you know, especially with ACL, they have different things you need to meet. And so, so those things I'll test about a week or two before the game, and, and then they'll determine if I'm ready to go. But I feel like myself again and feeling really good. Um, you know, obviously, you see the play there. Uh, tough go, but uh, but I feel like it's helped me so much, and and uh, Nate's really helped me a lot too. And yeah, Nate, give us an update. You were not able to play in the ball game. You were injured before then, Correct. so you've been rehabbing it for longer. Where are you in your process? Uh, you know, I'm pretty optimistic right now um, about week one. Um, you know, I think my trainers are optimistic also. Um, you know, it's been great to have Clay to lean on. Um, you know, we give each other feedback. Um, you know, give each other tips about the process. Um, you know, going through it together. So it's been really nice to have him. <laughs> Um, you know, just going through the process together. Um, but, yeah, I'm pretty optimistic about week one. Um, just taking it day by day, though, because you know how injuries are. So, um, But it's, it's, been a, it's been a roller coaster mentally and physically. So. Montre, you're fortunate enough not to be coming off an injury. <laughs> uh, give us a sense for you. You know, I found your story really interesting. You're a small-town kid from Georgia. You were recruited very late, as right. I recall, by Northwestern. They got in on you yeah. late, and you were one of those players who was kind of off the radar. To go from that to this, to being a part of Big Ten Media Day, to having as great a career as you've had. What's going through your mind as you experience today? Yeah, I mean, uh, definitely it's, it's been a learning curve uh, coming from Georgia uh, all the way up here to the Northwestern. But, you know, the credit, I give it, you know, to Fitz. You know, he's put us in a, all of us in a great position in order to win, in order to execute every week. And, you know, everything goes to the man. So now the challenge is to go from being a really, really good team to being the best team in your division. It's the For one sure. thing that you guys haven't been able to do. You've won 10 games two of the last three years, but can you get to Indianapolis? What's it going to take? And Montre, you can start, but Nate and Clayton, I'm certainly interested in your thoughts. What's it going to take for Northwestern to take that step? You know, definitely uh, just coming out playing fast and physical every week. Uh, we talk about this every day, every rep, uh, and every practice. I mean, we come together as a group and we discuss you know, the things that we need to work on, the things that we need to, you know, improve on as an entire unit. And uh, starting fast is important for us. Uh, yeah, I mean, just to go off that, um, taking that next step as a team, um, uh, the maturity of our football team is, is on the rise, and I think that's one of the major things um, we need to improve on uh, from coming off of last season, um, you know, and starting slow last season. Um, you know, we have, no, we have no time for that now, opening up with Purdue. Um, so we got we to show our maturity as a football team, and that's the first step of uh, winning the West is beating Purdue. When you talk about maturity, I'm interested in your take too, Clayton, but I want to follow up on that. Are you speaking of physical maturity, or are you speaking of kind of emotional maturity, like emotional. where guy's not ready to go? Yeah, no, just emotional and mental. Um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a heightened level of just, uh, maturity when you're coming in week one playing a Big Ten opponent. Uh, that's a whole other test than coming in playing a, you know, a MAC opponent or an out-of-division uh, opponent. Um, so, yeah, I mean, physically, I think our team will be ready. I think we are ready every year uh, physically. But, um, you know, just for the young talent, you know, for those guys to come out and play like veterans is going to be important, um, especially in Big Ten play. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with those guys. I think they said it pretty good. Um, but, you know, we got to start out fast against Purdue, Big Ten West opponents. And, uh, you know, we got to beat the teams who have been at the top. And, and, you know, Wisconsin's been real good. And you've seen Iowa and all these teams. And so got to win and that's what it comes down to every week uh you got married 
I did. this summer. Uh, and we were talking about your, your rehab. Look at that. You yeah. got the wedding ring, wedding the, whole, ring. the whole thing. Uh, married to your longtime <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> uh, give us the, what was the thing that happened in the wedding experience in this whole process from picking the spot and getting ready for the menu yeah. and experiencing the actual day that was the one thing you were like, wow, I never thought about that? Um, hmm. Well, she did a lot of the planning. You're um, just along. You're one of those guys. Along her for and the her ride. mom did yeah. a great job, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it turned out great. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I think it was pretty cool, you know, having a bunch of my friends there and a bunch of her friends and families, but everyone coming together to celebrate us. I think that's the coolest part. And Nate, you were saying he was the best dancer at the wedding? That's the truth. Yeah. I mean, you know, despite Clay and I's injuries, I think we were out there and we made a good showing. Uh, you know, we, we showed right there that we could persevere. But, uh, <laughs> our dance was out there. I mean, in all seriousness, was that a concern? Like, uh, hey, am I going to be able to do this? So I had a, one of my best friends from high school get married a week before, actually. Yeah, yeah. And so we had a little test run there. Right. But uh, I was pretty, you know, confident going in. Yeah, and yeah. so, you know, I think I showcased my moves well. Yeah. Uh, you know, my my dad and my you know father-in-law did great. I, I was uh, impressed with their showing. You showcased your moves. It sounds like you were at the combine here. I, I did. Uh, you know, were at the felt dancing like a dry combine. Run for that too. I yes. needed to show up. Yes. And I did. Speaking of which, you're being mentioned as a potential first or second round pick in the NFL draft. How do you balance out being hurt, wanting to help this team? Yeah. You, you know, wanting to be back on the field as soon as possible, but knowing that you've got a future as an NFL quarterback. Yeah, that's a great question. You know, I, I think when I think about the NFL, um, you know, I think about how do I get there? You know, it's producing in college. And how do I do that? And it comes down to every day, you know, going in and working hard. And, and so it boils down to, to I got to I gotta be a great player here for my team. That's the only way I'm going to be able to be and have a shot in the NFL. And it's great to have those, you know, first round um, projections and everything. But uh, it really just gives me confidence. And, um, you know, it's more of a motivator more than anything. And I think that's that's part of my support system. They've been great in keeping me level headed. And, and thankfully, I don't search those things out. But uh, I've got... People that encourage me with that. I want to focus a little bit on the defense. You guys were so good last year. You have a ton of contributors back from that unit. Montreal, I'll start with you, Nate. I'm interested in your thoughts, too. But, I mean, you know, top 10 in the nation in rushing D, top 20 in total defense. Awesome defensive line coming back. I know you've got a few questions at the safety spot. But how good can this defense be? Yeah, I think this defense can be great. Uh, just the intangible skills that we bring to the table as far as communication, as far as guys willing to sacrifice everything for each other. Uh, we've got guys stepping up in the leadership roles, uh, Patty, Nate Hall, even me on the back end. So just having those guys also on the D-line like Joe Goss, you know, Jordan Thompson, and having those guys every day, uh, you know, giving everything they got, I think, you know, everything will be set in stone by the season. Yeah, um, I mean, those stats that you just, you just put out, a testament to our, our defense, you know, playing as a unit. Um, you know, com communication on all three levels. Um, you know, being top ten and run defense, that's a testament to those guys up front who do a tremendous job taking up double teams, allowing myself, Patty, um, you know, Brett Walsh last year who we lost, but, you know, guys wanted to step in. We were, you know, could, we could flow freely, um, you know, and make plays without, without getting touched by offensive linemen and, and tight ends trying to block us. Um, so, you know, I'd, I'd just say communication and having that dog mentality um, week in and week out and uh, maintaining that standard throughout the year is the reason we were um, consistently successful. So who does step up at the linebacking spot? We know about you. We certainly know about Patty, who was named preseason one of the five players to watch in the West today. Who's the other? Who are the missing pieces there? Uh, Blake Gallagher is a young talent, um, a real physical guy. Um, Nate Fox is, a, is an older guy who's had some, some more experience, um, who's, uh, who's fit for the position. You know, there's a lot of young, young talent that's, uh, that's eager to step up. So, you know, it's a, it's a position battle, and we'll see throughout camp. I don't think it's anyone's job. Um, you know what I mean? It's, it's going to be a good battle, so we'll see. Clayton, Northwestern fans want to know about the next quarterback as well. You played a role in Hunter Johnson's recruitment. Uh, Pat Fitzgerald was talking about that earlier, how important you were. Give us a sense of how you sold the next guy on Northwestern. Yeah, uh, you know, I, his brother was one of my good friends, was at my wedding. Um, and so I knew the family coming in. And it's kind of funny, he would he would have a few mannerisms and he's just like Cole. And so I told that to him once and, and they're really tight and so he liked that. But I, I didn't really have to sell him or say anything crazy. I got him around the guys, and, and he really loved it. And he, I know he connected with the guys on, on a few different levels. And so it's great to have him, and I know he's going to be a good quarterback going forward. 
One of the things that uh, Pat Fitzgerald talked about also is this notion of the new facility helping to sell the program and being a real recruiting tool for you guys. But he also mentioned his streamlined your operation kind of day to day. I know it's early, you've only been in there for a few weeks, but what's your favorite part of the new facility, Montre? Uh, <clears throat> first and foremost, I guess I'll uh, talk about the Players Lounge. That's, that's a huge, uh, you know, addition to the facility that I think, you know, will give guys, a, you know, a better, you know, landscape to, you know, enjoy themselves. Uh, how about for you, Nate? Uh, yeah, I think just the flow of the whole thing. Um, you know, it's way more efficient. Um, you know, it's it's breathtaking when you look at it. You can see some of the some of the the video there. There's more space to to get things done. Um, you know, rehabbing in there is ten times easier. I can tell you from experience. Uh, practicing, you know, just having that space to to really do what you have to do to get your body ready, your mind ready. Um, it's just an incredible resource for us to use. Well, we are looking forward to seeing it when we come to camp. The end of August. Guys, thanks so much. Montre yeah. Hardage, Nate Hall, Clayton Thorson. Best of luck to both of you of getting ready for the season. And thank thanks you. for your time. Thank, thank you. you.